I still can't believe Tiger left. No, I... I don't know why I didn't know that he was just going to actually fucking leave. <laughs> I don't know why I let, like, the childlike belief that he would come back yeah. exist. Yeah. I thought he was going to, like, run against Smokes in the car. No, you saw him bring his jacket to the car. You knew he wasn't coming back. Yeah, no, I think I that was just earlier, just because... You know what I would love, though? I love. I, I would love to... If he came back there now. When he got to the car, because his jacket was sitting in a freezing cold car uh. for about a half hour. You know that jacket? <laughs> that jacket was giving him no fucking comfort whatsoever. <laughs> he was like, oh, this is a bad idea. Well, I thought the joke would be he'd drive off, drive around the block... And I thought he was going to, like... Really? Yeah. Do you know, Tiger? Per pers yeah, uh, that's why he did. Personally, he I thought the effort coming. was going to be leave, literally turn around, Bank of America, park there, and just walk back. And oh, like no, the, two, the two minutes it takes to drive in the circle, mm -hmm. and then when he saw like actually pulled away, I was like, oh, no, I got no, he, he ordered a walk back. When his ass left the chair, he was free. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so on to this week's Sako topic. You what you got for us, Sock? Well, <clears throat> woo! Oh, nice. Thank you, Braulio. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> very welcome. My, my biggest fan. You oh, you're right. Him. Uh, well, you're not my biggest fan this week. I, I actually, uh, fuck you. I got in touch with someone. I said, look, we're getting rid of Ed. We have a brand new host who's coming on. Um, do you have anything that you may want to ask him? Any questions at all? He said, absolutely. Uh, he flew in last night in the storm, got in, stayed on uh, the couch. We enjoyed this house. We were a little creeped out by the fact that he was there, but he was there, and we dealt with it. And uh, everyone uh, from... Tiger Beat Podcast. Let's welcome Saul. Yeah! 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 Long time, asshole. Woo! 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 Welcome Thanks back. Waffle. Well, you're looking good. Thanks. God damn it. You're welcome. <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh. baby face. I know, right? <laughs> you're seeing a little chink. That is awesome. <laughs> that is. You have little chink babies. That is awesome. <laughs> Where's Tiger? Oh my God. I don't understand. So Tiger left. And now there's this Jew asshole in his seat. <laughs> so can we just send him away, Sal? Can you can you promote your new authority and make him go away? The Jew go away. Oh. Who's gonna get Jew who's got, down the well? Who's got a This got dark real fast. Anyway, okay, so Sal, listen. Hmm. Here's how this works. Nice I'm to sorry. meet you, by the way. It's great to meet you too, and you're very attractive, and it's Thank wonderful. You. I like the growth on your face. You're like a young George Michael. <laughs> That's fantastic, and you look really good. Uh, so anyway, are you ready? I think so. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. So all of our readers at Tiger Beat Podcasts want to know. How do you feel about being the first gay podcast member? <laughs> <laughs> it feels very liberating. I just, yeah? I just found out I was gay. I'm, I'm completely surprised. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty obvious. Well, stand stand in nothing, chat. Nothing. Poor Lisa. Yeah. If those uh, last trannies over the past few years haven't made me gay, you're not going to, honey. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Who else am I talking to? No, I'm not trying to make you anything. I'm just asking you questions. Okay. Take it easy. Don't be a tough guy on your first podcast, okay? I have to. People leave if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got tough Tony. Come on. Yeah. They're still here. Boo. So is it true yeah. that your name is Trip because you have a really long cock? Yeah, I'm constantly <laughs> falling over it. That's amazing. Nice. How long would you say it is? Three, three and a half. I'm heard that I heard it's above average. Feet? No, inches. I mean, Lisa tells me it's above average. Oh, that's cute. She's Who's so your cute. favorite animal? My favorite. Who is my favorite animal? <laughs> my dog Riley. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, he's really great at uh, getting all the peanut butter off. That's yeah. That's gross. <laughs> Don't try to give me like answers that you think I'll enjoy because you're probably wrong. Why do you prefer Nutella? Excuse me. <laughs> Why do you beat your fiance? <laughs> because, that's a good question. Whoa. It's because she speaks. Oh shit! Whoa. I can't blame it on the oh, alcohol anymore. Shit. Holy shit! Are you sure you know what's in the water that your dad brings you? Ooh. Ooh. No. 
I mean, he used to watch Bill Cosby for years, but I usually don't wake up till after he's done, so he's got to be using something different. He's done doing what? Whatever he does, putting the pills in the pudding. Have you woken up to your father in your room before? I have, but it's usually when he's just pointing at me with my mother next to him saying, this is what you made. Is this penis out? Uh, no, usually not. No. Okay. I numbered these questions wrong. I went from three to five. What oh, was number four? four? Three, sir. Three. I don't know. There isn't one. Who? You lost it. It was, it was, is your father's penis out? I said no, and then he had written down, skip to seven. Uh, How old are you? 29. How did you feel when... What? <laughs> How did you feel when your first choice, the Navy, turned you down? Um... I was a little disappointed because I knew I'd never be myself. They're, they're more openly gay in the Navy, so I had to put on a <laughs> Exactly. I got to carry a big gun, though, in the Army. Is that what they called it? Yeah, but unfortunately, my parachute always opened. How many caliber? 5.56. Five, five, What's that mean? It means 22 caliber. They're little pea shots. I just got to shoot the 50 caliber. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> shoot me now. <laughs> How would your parents feel? Honestly, if you brought home a black. <laughs> I don't think they could be any disappointed, more disappointed than they already are. Oh! Wow. You feel they'd be disappointed yeah, by black? No, I think uh, they, they wouldn't be any more disappointed because they, they can't possibly be. So they'd be, they're disappointed in Lisa? Uh, no, because they were just happy I brought home a functioning girl. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... We all know she's a beard. My father's, <laughs> my father's married to a Puerto Rican, so I don't think he'd mind too much. I think he'd be like, oh, good, I'm not so bad. Oh, well, that's beautiful. <laughs> Did you hear that, honey? Yeah. Who's, who's honey? Who's your boyfriend's here? Uh, who's hotter? Who's <laughs> Tony or Heather? <laughs> oh, God. You. Good answer. Favorite number? Seven. No, four. It's four. Definitely four. Oh, you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Seven was just an automatic programmed response. <laughs> like, Who's God? Jesus or heroin? Heroin uh, would have answered my prayers a lot quicker, but God was there to pull me out after the heroin went away. So Jesus, yeah, I guess Jesus. Bell claps. Amen. Says the Jew. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then I killed him. <laughs> Somebody when, feels I wasn't sorry. There. When Lisa lives you, leaves you for being on this podcast, hmm. would you let Renee take you into his bed? I would go into Renee's bed if it made Lisa leave me right now. <laughs> to be fair, I think you'd Wait, you Wait, you would? Yeah, I'm all, I, I, just, I just can't do it myself. You, you, would, you would go into oh, Renee's geez. bed right now if Lisa would leave you? What's he paying? <laughs> wow. Oh, he works at Staples. No. No, no I'm sticking with Lisa. I go crawling back to Lisa after Renee. <laughs> Screaming from second guessing his wedding room? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. So I love you, honey. You should listen to this. <laughs> she, she's probably more worried that I'm flirting with the gay guy than that I would fuck Renee. <laughs> so okay, fl yeah. Flirting with the gay is better than having sex with the gay. Well, she knows the Re Renee's had a right section in his life, so the chances of me sleeping with the guy from Trip, uh, fucking Tiger Cast, is probably more probable. <laughs> What's a Tiger Cast? It's whatever. It's, what, what's his name? What's his name? Tiger B. Tiger Saw. Bean. We our names are very close. Tiger. Wow. Tiger Cast. <laughs> it's like a dream cast. We'd be like a solid. Oh. If we got together. I toss your solid. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best of luck. Thank you, Saul. Thanks uh, for coming all the way out here just to say that. Oh, yeah, it was a trip. Great <laughs> 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 right, no <laughs> uh, To come up with your questions, Saul, uh, what you use as a uh, you know, reference or where did you come up with your questions for me? I looked at you. Mm. <laughs> Eye of the tiger. Yeah. Uh, size him up. I don't guess that. <laughs> Wow, look, you agreed with him, and then you backed off. Tony, have a backbone. <laughs> oh, anyway, snap. thank you so much, Trip. You, you're a doll. Thank you. You're and I, I, I wish you a very long tenure here at the WCBJ Podcast. And we all know that Kenny would never have worked out. 
<laughs> Mad <laughs> Flick probably would have been great. He would have been you got damn right. She won. The man had no reaction. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you next Thank time. Thank you, Saul. Hi, Saul. Thanks for having me, Saul. See you again. See you soon. And by the way, Bob and Chico, I got my eye on you, kid. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh. Thank you to Saul for coming on, and now that he's gone, we have. I love Saul. Saul was great. Me too. I'm still here, asshole. Haha! <laughs> Sacco yeah. Jones! Hi! You're the best. You're the best. You don't even address the homosexual in the room, you go right to Sacco Jones. They well, go, well, Josh, you he's the best in the room. He's, he's killed the ball with stag set tonight. Don't That's good. <laughs> See, here's where, good. here's where I'm going with this is uh, Tiger left us with an open hot mic tonight, and. Every week when I would leave this place after the podcast, Irina is very, uh, very nice to drive me home. And thank God she's driving. And Steve's in the passenger seat. And he's usually very saucy by the way. <laughs> so saucy. Saucy sommelier. Sauce. Now I wanted it to drink not more than he usually would, but just whatever he's usually at before he leaves here. Because you're going to hear some of the things that come out of this guy's mouth. <laughs> after we, after we, he waits for like Renee to get out of the car, and then he goes. And it, he goes oh, back. Oh, and he gets Renee to ride home too? Yeah, and Renee, <laughs> where Renee lives. Oh, God, I wouldn't walk there if I was black. Drop him off in front of this abandoned storefront every week, and I'm like, oh, it's a that's because Renee doesn't want to make you take like eight turns to go down a block that you can't go back the other way up, and then drop you off in front of his actual. It's, house. A, it's at least four, sir. And do you know yeah, where I recognize it's at least four. Yeah. That's the voice of Braulio, by the way. <laughs> so I'm getting the Braulio. This is who I've been to. Did I not preface him before when I started speaking about him in nope. the front seat? Well, Irina gives me a ride home. Braulio is uh, Irina's girl, uh, girlfriend. I was gonna say. <laughs> Sorry, Saul, you're yeah. fucking me up. Yeah, I'm all confused. So. Steve Braulio is in the passenger seat, so we drop Renee off at this uh, vagrant hotel, and I recognized it from a video I saw on a news uh, site a week before of an eight-year-old kid walking to school. <laughs> a crazy man who's clearly drunk or on some type of drugs came up behind him and just starts shanking him on the video, and then the eight-year-old runs away. And it was right in front of. Wait, the eight-year-old who got shanked yeah. ran away. Yeah, he didn't get him too good, but he he. he Aaron made... surprised. <laughs> well, because Aaron shanked many eight-year-olds. He calls that Tuesdays. He's like, you're not doing it right. Renee should shake his head yes in the background because he saw this right out of his front window. So we drop Renee off in this shit hotel, and then Braulio starts going off about how I could survive here. I grew up in the hood, Newark, New Jersey. And the first week, <laughs> oh, Ian Dick, that's not even my fault. Like, fuck you. I, I, my life. That's not even fuck you. Like, fuck that's you. That's not my fault. Your dad just didn't care about you enough to get a job. Essentially, yes. Listen, but listen, still, I grew up. Hold on one second. Yes. First rule, Tony, when there's like a serious drunk on the mic, let him talk. Yeah. <laughs> Let him go. Shut up. Yeah. I talk a lot, Shut and I'm up. sitting in the back of my seat. It's no. And I'm about to. He's give, crying. I'm about to. I'm laughing. Are you crying? There's a difference. Literally, you walked out when I was two. I barely spoke a word. So his mom, be, his mom became the breadwinner. She would every day get up. Right. She'd walk out to the mailbox and open the welfare check. Is what I've learned. Thank you. So, Braulio, I, I he's not wrong. The first week I was just like, okay, I guess he grew up somewhere, and he's like, you just walk through the neighborhood like you know what you're doing. And food stamps, playing in the park, eating, you know, welfare food. It's not that bad. Sandwiches and such stuff like that. It's not it's that bad. That. So, but last week, after I'm like, shit, I start next week on WCVJ. I gotta figure some things to talk about. <laughs> and then listening to him, I was like, this is perfect, because out of no way he goes, the hood don't believe in green. The hood don't believe in blue. It took me a minute, but I realized he was talking about how you. I always hated that in these neighborhoods you can't wear any color you want because you could get shot for not affiliating with the gang inappropriately. So he starts to explain the nuances of what to wear, the different variances of each color you could wear. Can you, can you explain that to me? Remember the sage? It's not even that hard. Seriously, red, it's one of those things where you wear burgundy, red is burgundy, green is sage, blue is navy. Other than that, you stay alive in the hood. Other than that, you're fine. So it's not that hard. Do they have like a fashion shop? No, not yeah. at all. It's just common sense. You just stay alive in the hood. Do you walk in and like, I'm gonna show you my burgundy we just got in. This is this fall's fashion teal. 
No. You can't wear blue. Not at all. <laughs> no. What did you mean by the hood doesn't believe in sage? What does the hood believe in, Brian? <laughs> it's essentially green. Like, seriously, you can't wear primary colors. Primary <laughs> colors. <laughs> Black guys do not believe in primary colors in, in the sense that we're just like, okay, I'm fine. I'm wearing anything darker than a green, you're fine. But I think like close to green, just like you done fucked up. It's just like I walked down the hood the wrong day. Do they? Like, oh my god. Do they have like a chart up at the community center? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, like Roy G. Biff chart. Yeah. If you're in this color, danger. If you're in this color, and like all the way at the bottom is some like off white, and it's like you could be white and wear this and walk through, you'll be alright. Common um, sense teaches you that, and other than that, no, I don't know what to tell you. Where did you learn your primary colors? Did you ever make the mistake of wearing the wrong color and walking through Newark, New Jersey? Not at all. I knew. I knew since I was like fucking five. Who, who taught you this? It's, it's instinctual. Was there like a wise old man in the local park around all the nope, crackheads playing just, chess? Let me just, give me a Roddy old boy. Just near my elementary colors. school, just near my elementary school, where it's just like, okay, I should not be walking home in bright green or like blue or like navy. A blue navy is a, is a fine color. Burgundy is safe. <laughs> have, you, have you ever been attacked? Um, yeah, I have actually. Were you by, by what color? Um, I was wearing actually. Sage. I was actually wearing something along the lines of uh, navy. Oof. So um. Ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> blue, that, that straddles blues, the line. Blues are really hard to come by in the hood, and we're just like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I done fucked up. I wore the wrong color of blue. So it's what like, happened? What happened? You were wearing royal blue, walking through the hood, brawling it up. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, I was quite the badass in my childhood. Um, my mom took me to a military um. What do you call that? Like monkey. Military, a monkey. A, a military monkey. pro a military type program military where it's monkey. like where it's like, okay mom, I'm wearing this. And it's just like some kid hit me out of the fucking blue because I was wearing the wrong color. At the Hood Military Academy. Exactly. What color were they in the <laughs> Aquamarine? Orange. This normal fucking military because I have no idea what the fuck they are. <laughs> and I got no idea who the military is? <laughs> <laughs> As a child, I don't fucking know. I'm eating my fucking two my, my two fucking gogurts today. I'm just like, mom, I'm good. <laughs> That's all you were, you were giving was two gogurts today? <laughs> <laughs> Make these last. <laughs> exactly. I'll be exactly. like striping banana because I got to carry them in bandoliers across your chest. <laughs> <laughs> and sage bandoliers. Not at all. I um I wore them across fucking um lunch type fanny packs across my chest. Lunch so I was fairly type. fine. Lunch they were lunch type trick. <laughs> It's my favorite brand. As a young rascal growing up in the hood, when did you realize, holy shit, I'm in the hood? Um, when I got punched in the face, and I was just like, oh my god, my face hurts. And I got punched by a dude who was at least 17 years old, and I was like 13, and I was like, oh my god, this is what it's like to have your face fucking caved in. What did he say? Did he say, you're in the hood, now you know. No, he was like, now you know! Don't wear blue! Welcome to the hood. Was it like Twister, Red Foot, Blue? <laughs> Honestly, Left he was just like, sage. he was just like, honestly, you did the wrong thing, and I was just like, oh shit, I got punched in the face. I wasn't even that nigga who got, who needed to be punched oh, in the there face. There it is, I knew we'd get the ghetto out. This is the brains in the car. So you weren't that nigga. Raleigh, have you ever been the nigga? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I have been when I got punched in the fucking face. What did you do wrong? Saka? He's nothing, nothing at all. I, fucking, I hit the corner face. wrong, and I got punched in the fucking face. You hit the corner wrong. Is that like when you turned the corner? Exactly. Literally. So you hit the corner. So when you got up, like, I'm hitting the corner today. Literally, How did I you fucking... do it wrong? Left foot first? Was that the problem? Left foot first, exactly. Like, was just one of the things where I was, I was chasing my brother, like, you know, gallantly playing, like, you know, with the mercy. Like, ah, <laughs> yeah, gallantly playing. I was like, oh, ah, ah, I'm just gonna punch you in the, you know, punch you in the head. Cause it's like, you know, we're just fucking around. And out of nowhere, it's just like, oh, you wanna talk shit? Got punched in the face. Wait, your brother? Your blood brother? Yeah, my blood brother. It's one of those things where it's just like... Alright, so you've never been punched in your face by somebody other than your family. No, you I have. By a black black random dude. Who no, this is like, what he's a saying. A black random dude? He was playing The dude who punched me. The dude who punched me in the face. Not a random face. black dude. The dude who punched me. <laughs> the dude who punched the fuck out of me was like... The dude who... The dude who punched the fuck out of me was a black janitor who was like, I never... So you're I, 17, there's a janitor. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This, what color were you wearing that was wrong that offended janitors? <laughs> <laughs> That's what right. I... Is that, is that more of a navy? The gray. 
Yes. Not at all. I was wearing whatever the fuck it was. It might have been green. <laughs> but either way, I was just like, oh, I done fucked up. I got punched in the face. By a janitor. Janitor? <laughs> no, no, no. no. The dude who saved my life was a janitor. The dude. Wait, so I don't understand. He's you just said you got punched in the face by a janitor. Can we start again? <laughs> Hold on. So you were gallantly playing with your brother. Yeah, you yeah. hit the corner wrong, yeah. and a dude who hit you, right? And this, wait, wasn't, wait, wait. this wasn't the dude the who had made. hit me. Oh, the dude. <laughs> the dude, not the doo doo. I thought you were describing. All right, so wait, so wait. If you're playing gallantly with your brother, that means you're playing like knights and dragons. Exactly. Something like that. So were you riding the janitor and he took umbrage? Not at all. And he punched you in the face. I was just running around. Like, I was like, oh, ha ha, I'm going to hit you. Like, you know, it's like, ha, we're brothers. You know, we're going to hit each other. That's what we do. And then other than that, it's just like, oh, I hit, I hit my brother. And the black dude's like, oh, you done fucked up? I'm going to hit you now. you shouldn't saddle me and ride me around the projects. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, not at all, not at all, uh, what do you call it, not along those lines, but it was just like, you done fucked up. So, I, like, I got hit in the face. His problem was that you were trying to hit your brother, so he did the right thing. Not at all. So you it was like, he, he spoke up and it what was like... What did you do wrong, Was she sticking up for your brother? <laughs> I was the janitor? It wasn't that I was sticking up for my brother, it was that I was just like... I was like, oh, he, he, um, he confused me for someone who spoke up earlier. He was just like, fuck you. And I was like, all right, I didn't do anything to fuck with you, bro. And like, you just punched me in the fucking face. You were riding him. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. What the fuck are you saying, Chris? <laughs> no, the janitor. You <laughs> wrote This is your life. <laughs> no, the janitor He's saved my. Wrong. The janitor saved my life. I got I got knocked out by a dude who was like 17 years old, who was still in the same military program, and I got knocked the fuck out. So where did he come from? Because you were talking about your brother <laughs> gallantly playing with your brother and riding a janitor, and then you got hit all of a sudden by a 17 year old black man. How he came. It? He came out of nowhere because due to the fact that it was just like <laughs> one day at the program it was just like Oh so this had nothing to do with you hitting the block room. This is previously you did something that's alright, what'd you do? Thanks, Chip. Um <laughs> you wow, I get it now. Exactly. Um Ace. I was fucking around with my brother and it was just like out of nowhere, it was like one of those days I was the wrong person, I looked like the wrong person, and I got fucking punched in the face. What did you, no, 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 you said you did something to him at the program. I, I literally did nothing to him, it was just, besides the fact that I couldn't do push-ups and I was fat. I was like, just like, Yo, I do and you were hit fat. You. Oh. So you were gallantly doing push-ups with your brother. <laughs> near, 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 near a janitor. <coughs> and a janitor introduced you to a 17-year-old black man who was in the program and punched you in the face. He saved my life. The janitor saved my life. How? See, How did he save your life? Because oh, that dude yeah, knocked yeah. the fuck... The dude who hit me... <laughs> the dude who hit me knocked the fuck out of me. I've never seen so many stars in my life. I'm just like, holy shit. But you still were able to say something to him. I was still able... I wasn't able to say something to him. I don't know how fucking... You know, clairvoyant the fucking words were. So now yeah, wait, hold on, hold on. The janitor was mind reading. Not only, not only did he mind him as a horse, but he was a horse who could read minds. That's pretty gallant. Either way, Sako, I couldn't fucking understand what he was saying. I was like, holy shit, I'm fucking hammered. I was like, you punched me in the face, my face hurts. Please stop hitting me in the face. <laughs> you were you were drunk? Yes. Yeah. yeah no, I was fucking like a little child. I was like, must have been like 12 yeah, or 13. You said you were hammered. <laughs> you got hammered in the face. I got hammered in the face. Oh, he said you were hammered. I got punched with a bottle of booze. No, I got punched in the face by a 17 year old who was, what do you call it? At the time I was 13. I was 13. You who punched me was 17. He was about on the on the brink of like hitting, you know, 18. He was fairly old, you know, he's a lot bigger than me. So then what were you, a 13-year-old, and about to turn 18 doing in the locker room together? I have no fucking idea! The fucking face! What is a locker room? And then what point a janitor still wearing a saddle and walks in and saves your life? Seriously, at that point, I'm on the fucking stairs, I'm just like, oh my god, I've never been hit this hard in my fucking life. So how'd you get home? My fucking mom took me home. Fucking baby. Wait, hold on. Wait, yeah. Your mom was there? Yeah, my fucking mom was there because your I. Your mom was there and she allowed a 17 year old janitor to hit you in the face. <laughs> and it was telepathy. In a lot of <laughs> Okay, first of all, um, what do you call it? Oh my god. Terrible. I was hit in the face. Um, 
by an old gentleman. It's all coming back to him now. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking wild. So the, the janitor walks yeah. into the locker room. He's watching Aaron. He doesn't, lock, he doesn't walk into the fucking locker room. What the all fuck? Alright, he, he boom walks into the locker room. Still wearing the saddle. That you brought him in on. He does not walk in or moonwalk into the fucking what do you call it? Snow room. He fucking just normally walks into the room and I go to chase my brother. I'm just like I get punched in the fucking face. He's like, oh, you want to talk shit? I get hit in the fucking face. I'm just like, oh my god, Jesus! I get hit in the fucking face. How did the janitor save your life whilst wearing a saddle? The janitor fucking saves my life in the sense that like I'm just like fucking seeing stars. I'm just like Jesus Christ. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm about to get knocked the fuck out. And the janitor comes in, he's like, yeah, you need to stop hitting this nigga. Like, he's gonna like, knock the fuck out. So like, you, okay. you were hitting a black guy? No, I was getting hit by the black guy. He's like, you need to... Is that what... The other black guy is like, you need to stop hitting this nigga. Is the janitor black? Yeah, I have a yeah the janitor was black. Okay. And he's just like, you need to stop hitting this nigga. And he's like, he's gonna get knocked the fuck out. And he's just like... And then, you know, the, you know, the other black guy, you know, he agrees. And he's just like... <laughs> he's not a nigga, I gotta stop hitting him. Exactly. <laughs> and I wake up and I'm, the next day and I'm just like, oh my god, mom, my fucking face hurts. My fucking face hurts. I'm crying like a little bitch. I'm just like, my, my, it hurts. I don't want to go back to a military program. I'm just like, ah, my fucking face hurts. I'm just crying like a little baby bag bitch. I was like, Ma, you need to stop paying me, please, God. <laughs> baby, baby back bitch. Baby back bitch. <laughs> you goddamn right. It fucking hurts. You, you ever been punched in the fucking face like full throttle? <laughs> I've never been punched. I've been punched in the face. Full no, throttle man. though? Like, it's just like... I believe so. <laughs> He's in hood mode. Some, can he just so, ask... So, so this is a story of New York. No, I was an inside thing. Can he just ask off mic why he sounds like Hispanic right now? As he no, gets, no, no, no. He's, he's, he's good black white, white, he's Hispanic. My friend who's Irish that talks <laughs> and slurs his words like him, but he's so, Hispanic. Kenny's he's explaining <laughs> something off mic right oh, now. So how many black guys have you punched in the face after that's for repentance? Um, <laughs> at, least, at least one or two. Wait, wait, for revenge you've gone and randomly punched <laughs> black people in the face? <laughs> <laughs> you've just, like, you've picked, like, random black people to punch them in the face. No, not at all. Oh, this is for the locker room. The two dudes that so wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The two dudes that you punched in the face were exactly the same dude. That's amazing. I, I misspoke. What Everybody the fuck do you want me to say? That's an amazing story. I misspoke. What the fuck do you want me to say? They all look the same to Brawley. Oh. oh. That, is, that, is, that isn't the same thing where it's just like black guys all look alike. So you saw that knockout game. No, it's one of the things where it's just like, I knocked out this black dude's name, name Isaiah, where it's just like, you were fucking around. You you were, you know, you were just like, oh, I threw the ball up in the air. I was like, you're fucking around? Two ga- two ball two up in the air, what? Wow. He was being, I think he, when he said he was being too gallant. Now, after you rode off into the sunset on this janitor, did you ever see him again, or did they take him and make him into blue? I have no idea what this black dude oh. janitor did with his life, but he fucking saved my life, and I was just like, God bless you. I don't know what the, what the fuck he, he's doing with his life right now, but I'm just like, you saved my life. Look, he's, he's got his fist. He's <laughs> <laughs> just a leaker. Oh, he's so grateful so to the Jadimir Horseman. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the Jadimir Horseman saved my fucking life. You want to know what I think? I'm I think fine. every single, every single janitor deserves a pick. And I think it's time for picks. I will bust away! You should bring the janitor back to the room all right. uh, Tales from the Hood with uh, Steve Raleigh. I'll fight yeah. it. Fighting trucks is fun. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you.